With the Ukraine crisis worsening, the European Union and the United States say they're planning new sanctions against Russia. The U.S. has indicated that it may be ready to target whole sectors of the Russian economy that could hit some European countries hard. Case in point, France, which has a multi-billion dollar order for two naval ships from Russia in the balance. French Minister Laurent Fabius is in Washington for the talks. CCTV's Nathan King has more on this. Nathan. That's right, Elaine. Laurent Fabius, France's foreign minister, despite pressure to cancel the sale of two Mistral-class amphibious assault vessels to Russia, defended the deal here in Washington. France says it won't cancel the contract, arguing that the contract predated the Ukraine crisis when France still called Russia a friend. Fabius added that the $1.6 billion price tag for the ships had already been half paid. That deal is raising eyebrows here in Washington. In February, France's president greeted as a guest of honor at the White House. Vive la France. God bless America. A state visit for America's oldest ally. Differences on whether to strike Syria over chemical weapons seemingly forgotten. And the red, white and blue of both nations on display at Tuesday at the State Department as both allies stress common ground on many issues. But construction of these two Mistral-class ships are causing controversy. Commissioned back in 2011, the ships can operate as helicopter carriers, one ironically christened the Sebastopol, off the Black Sea port where the two ships will be based in the recently reabsorbed Russian province of Crimea. Russian officials have long coveted these ships, the Russian admiral said the 2008 Georgian conflict could have been over in 40 minutes had Moscow had Mistral's. Ahead of the French foreign minister's visit, a group of U.S. senators wrote to U.S. President Barack Obama saying, European democracies, France and all NATO allies must make tough choices when responding to this new aggressive Russian foreign policy. We call on you to demand France suspend the sale of these two Mistral carriers to Russia. Here in Washington, the French foreign minister instead defended the deal. It has been signed in 2011, three years ago. It is implemented. It has paid more than half and well, the construction here. And according to the law, today there's no possibility of saying no. Despite being close allies, the U.S. called the sale this week unhelpful and says if sanctions are to be ramped up, there will be costs. Despite those costs, to the global economy uh, should uh, more serious sanctions be called for because of Russian transgressions, uh, they would be necessary. Comme, uh, fait. The sale of the ships has been controversial in France too. The French foreign minister says that while the sale is going through for now, a final decision will be made in October. With Europe emerging from recession and important manufacturing jobs at stake in France, cancelling the order at this late stage may cause more pain in Paris than in Moscow. And Elaine, the sale of the two Mistrals highlights the differences between Europe and the U.S. when it comes to planning the next steps forward on potential sanctions against Russia. France is worried about its defense industry. The United Kingdom worried about its financial industry. The city of London, Germany, about its energy supplies from the east. The U.S. is less tied to the Russian economy, but needs its European allies to go along and agree. Hello? All right, CCTV's Nathan King in our newsroom.